The Lube Cube Panel Mini has become my favorite travel light and was featured in my most recent vlog. I use it for Zoom calls, FaceTime, and of course, vlogging. I will have a separate post about this light, but would love to share a few rigs I made featuring the Loom Q Panel Mini. Before I get into this post, if you see any sunflowers on my equipment, it doesn't come that way. I personalize my gadgets with sunflowers, one, because I love sunflowers, and two, I have other YouTuber friends that I travel and vlog with so it keeps our equipment from getting mixed up. I got this amazing tip from Peter McKinnon, so shout out to Peter for this tip. Now let's get into these rigs. My first rig consists of the Loom Cube Panel Mini, a four inch cold shoe mount, the Rode Video Micro, the Canon M50 with the 22 millimeter lens, and the Manfrotto Pixie tripod. I created this rig mainly to have the ability to use my LoomCube panel mini plus a microphone. I had to slightly shave the shoe mount to my Rode Video Mic Micro to get it to fit into this bracket. This rig also works with the GoPro Hero 8 when you place the GoPro Media Mod on it. You still have access to the button, so if you want to elevate your lighting on your GoPro Hero 8 and have better sound, this would be a great option. Rig number two consists of the Loom Cube Panel Mini, the Camvate Cold Shoe Mount, the Rogue Wireless Go, and I chose the white color, Canon M50 with the 22 millimeter lens, and the Manfrotto Mini Tripod. Because there is a quarter 20 thread to the side of this light, I added the cold shoe mount. The rig allows you to mount your Rode Wireless Go and still have good light. It doesn't work well with the heavier mic systems because it causes the mount to shift. So if you're gonna use this rig, I would recommend the small light wireless microphones. This Rig number three is super cool. This consists again of the Loom Cube panel mini with the cold shoe mounted to the side, two Rogue wireless Go units, the GoPro Hero 8, the GoPro Media Mod, a splinter, and the GoPro Shorty Mini Extension Pole Tripod. This is perfect if you're looking for a two person microphone on a wireless unit. And here's an example of me using this with my YouTube friend. Hey, I'm here with MJ Fangirl and she's here to test the two mic rig that we designed. So I'm just going to keep talking, but MJ Fangirl, can you do me a favor? Can you yes. step a little further down? Okay. And then just keep talking. Yes. And then notice the sound is still Hello. clear. Hello. How you doing back there? I'm pretty good. How is it All going? All right, so this is a setup you would have if for some reason you want it to be the main subject in the front, but the person in the back needs to talk. Exactly. Can we still hear you? Yeah, I think you guys can. All right, guys, so this is that rig. I apologize for not having an example on what this would have looked like if the light was turned off, but believe me, it made some nice improvements. I would also like to note that you need to make sure that this is securely on your GoPro or if you decide to make this on your camera of choice because it does slide off. So these are some of the setups I did using the Loom Cube Panel Mini. I hope this was helpful and please don't forget to sub, like and share and thank you MJ Fangirl for helping me with this post.